Yo, what up, YouTube? It's Bryce doing my Yugi deck profile today by popular demand. And anyway, let's get into it. Obviously, we start off with the one Dark Magician. Uh, it's really a, an awful card, but uh, we have to play Dark Magician if we're running a Yugi deck. Same thing goes for Dark Magician Girl. She's really, really bad, actually, but we have to play her if it's going to be a Yugi deck. Summon Skull. We play two of him just because 2500 is pretty decent for one tribute. And because we have enough tribute fodder to facilitate it, I feel. And then Slifer the Sky Dragon. Uh, I guess this is sort of our win condition. Uh, and at the same time, you just kind of have to play it if you're going to be playing a Yugi deck. Three Giant Soldier of Stone. This is definitely a Yugi card. And it's a pretty decent little wall at 2,000. And also 1,300 isn't completely awful for an attack. So it's a little bit of uh, tanking and attacking if you need it. And you can also use these to make rank 3 XCs. Two Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. Or Obnoxious Celtic Guard, I'm sorry. He can't be destroyed by battle with monsters that have 1900 attack or more. And he has 1400 himself, so only things, I guess, 1400 to 1850 can destroy him. So that's just nice that, I mean, he can tank for you a little bit, basically. Just give you more tribute fodder, which is great. Uh, one Marshmallow, this is obviously just a tank. It's kind of like Spirit Reaper, basically. Two Karibo, uh, I opted to only play two because it's not that great, but you definitely have to play the Karibo if you're going to be playing a Yugi deck. Basically this can stop one monster from being destroyed by battle, or make you take no battle damage from one attack. Two of each gadget. I only play two of each because although gadgets are really good, I wanted to keep it more Yugi themed and not just in offering gadget deck basically. But these just uh, give you hand control and you can get out your slifer basically if you can stall with enough of these. One Sangan, this just searches out whatever you need. Uh, pretty much anything in the deck that you could want. I mean a gadget, uh, obnoxious Celtic Guard, uh, Giant Soldier of Stone, Karibo, Marshmallow, whatever. Let me play two Old Vindictive Magician. This is sort of like our pseudo Raiko for the deck. It destroys one monster. It has the exact same effect as Man Eater Bug, actually. And stats, other than it's a spellcaster and dark instead of Earth Insect. But anyway, that's that card. It's pretty good. You just destroy your opponent's big monsters. Uh, we play three Skilled Dark Magician. We would rarely use his actual effect, but basically we play him because he's on that 1900 status. That's always good. Then one Rock Spirit. This you can special summon by removing an earth monster from your graveyard, and he goes to 2000 during your opponent's battle phase, so that's alright. And you can just remove your gadgets, or your giant soldier, or your obnoxious Celtic guard, so you have definitely enough targets to get him out. And basically it just gives you a little bit of swarm capability, you can make rank 4 XCs with him. One dark hole, obviously, since Yugi plays this card, uh, we're lucky that he does, because this is a staple. And same thing with Monster Born. Swords of Revealing Light, this is definitely a Yugi card, and it's pretty good. It can stall for us so we can get out our tribute monsters, which is always nice. One Soul Release. This is just uh, sort of our anti-meta answer in the Yugi deck. Just remove five cards from the graveyards. Up to five cards. Uh, two Dust Tornado, Yugi plays this in Battle City, so this is our pseudo-MST for the deck. It's almost as good. Uh, two Magic Cylinder, people won't see this coming because they won't know you're playing a Yugi deck, and it can just catch them off guard and get you game, you know? Uh, one Mirror Force, a Yugi staple, and a staple in general, so that's great. One Seven Tools, I don't think people will be expecting this either, and you can just uh, make sure your plays go off and you don't get trapped, I guess, or whatever the term would be for running into trap cards. One Spellbinding Circle, I know this is the OCG art, but this is definitely a Yugi staple. Just uh, stop your opponent's monster from attacking, and then you get to tank and have tributes, basically. And two ultimate offering. I only play two, again, because I wanted to keep it not offering gadgets, basically. But at the same time, it's too good to not play when he does play this and he plays gadgets. <laughs> so you can just uh, derp out whatever you want and then summon your tribute monsters, like I said. Ultimately, you're trying to get Slifer out. I feel like if you're playing a Yugi deck and you get Slifer out, even if you don't win, you did in your heart. Or whatever. Anyway, the side deck, just more honorable mention cards again. Let's see, we've got the three Magnum Warriors, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. And then, of course, Valkyrion. 
We have Guy the Fierce Knight, who is even worse than Dark Magician, so he didn't make the cut. Magical Hats, Archfiend of Gilfer, Burfamet, Gazelle, and Chimera. Blackluster Soldier, of course. And then Defusion and Dark Paladin, just because Yugi used this to get game during Nats this year. And then Buster Blader. Of course, he's he's probably honestly better than Dark Magician, or Dark Magician Girl, but uh, not quite as much of a Yugi staple. And then Exodia, just to represent Yugi playing Exodia, which of course we all know he used to defeat Kaiba. Uh, and then the extra deck is just straight up staples, because you play Monster Born, as far as the Synchros, and then two Roach, two Utopia, and a Gem Knight Pearl as the rank 4s, since you can make these out of gadgets and such. And then one Utopia Ray, just because I guess you never know what's going to happen. And space isn't all that tight, so run this guy. And then Zen Mains, Levier, and Leviathan, because we play those giant soldiers of stone. <laughs> anyway, that's the Yugi deck, guys. I hope you guys like it. It's it's alright. Um, got pretty lucky with it, the one game I've played with it. So it's 1-0 right now, so a uh, better way to say that is the deck is undefeated. It just makes it sound better. <laughs> But anyway, that's the deck. You guys can try it out. It's not awful. I mean, it's semi-competitive, depending on what you play against. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And peace, guys.